the rivalry obviously developed a long time ago, and, and this rivalry will, will never end uh, as long as both programs exist. Once again, because of proximity, because of my background, having played at Ball State. But it's, it's such a natural rivalry. Uh, and a lot of the kids know one another, they played against another in high school. It's a lot more significant now, the rivalry between Ball State and IPFW, than it was certainly when I was a player here. A couple of wins against the Mastodons this year would be fantastic. A couple of losses would be devastating. Uh, the difficult, really difficult part was, is that they beat me like a frickin' drum for about 10 years. I mean, just beat the crap out of us. And if you see me coach, you'd even know but I'm more competitive than I am sitting in this chair. As a matter of fact, Coach Shondell has told me over the years, you're too competitive. I said, how in the hell can you be too competitive? I mean, I don't quite understand that. We were winning a match. I mean, we, we were up two games, um, I think two games to one at that time and starting to pull away in the fourth game. And Coach Ball, who is a fierce competitor and a great motivator, I know what he was doing. He was trying to motivate his team, and so he starts arguing a call. And I, I didn't actually hear him say this, but I wouldn't be surprised if he told the down official, I am going to keep yelling at you until you kick me out of the match. So, you know, the, the rivalry between us is, is spirited enough that Coach Ball, myself, we're going to resort to just about every tactic that we can come up with to help our team or to motivate our team into a, a win in those, those situations. Well, in the early days, it, it got to be almost a hatred. I mean, it was pretty bitter from my side because of what was taking place. But here's really the defining moment for us in regards to getting the monkey off my back or our program's back because in, in 1991, uh, the MIVA finals was at Ball State. And the, the team that won got to go to Hawaii. And it was a big crowd. We had a lot of people go. It was the finals. And it was, <laughs> like I said, it's kind of poetic justice for me because the Ball State crowd was a large crowd and they all had lays on and you know all that kind of stuff. And we won. We won in five. And two points in the fifth set. And the place was crazy. And the crowd was pretty stunned because I, you know, they thought that they were gonna beat us and they didn't. It was brutal because we, we were still at a point where IPFW was up and coming, but they hadn't gotten there. And that was a real breakout kind of match for them uh, and just a huge loss uh, for our program. I'm just an old guy who's been around a long time, who, who knows how to make friends and have a good time, uh, and has had a little bit of success in the athletic arena. And it's been wonderful.